hold on. Camera on me. I'm out here shopping. And I'm really very excited to make this dish. I'm gonna be making it for the first time. So you're gonna witness me making this dish, whether it's good or not. And I'm picking things you don't know, I need to make the dish. Wish me luck. Your girl Joel is gonna do this dish for the first time. You're gonna witness me doing this. I'm picking up some red peppers, some peppers, and you know. Welcome guys, welcome back to Joel in the Kitchen. If you're new here, welcome. Remember, you can always subscribe and become a part of this growing, beautiful community. And for my returning supporters, welcome. How are you doing today? Hope you all are well. So today, guys, we are going to be making jollof rice. inspiration from Grace's World so guys go over to Grace's World and show them some love so come on now and let's get started so here are all my ingredients yellow red and green bell peppers some green scallion green onions some chopped onions some garlic cloves some ginger tomato paste two things coconut milk, some chicken broth, coconut oil, dry thyme leaves, some jerk rub, chili pepper, smoked paprika, all purpose seasoning, bay leaf, salt, some Maggie and guess what is this? Some jerk seafood, you know what? I have to put a little Caribbean in it. So, that may be going to make it look a bit more exciting. And tomato for my tomato sauce. So, I decided to go full load because I know we can do all the meat, so I went full load. Some shrimp. Some chicken breasts and some sterling steak. But guess what? Everything is washed, clean, trim, and ready for our seasoning. So, guys, let's go season. Come on, let's go season this meat. But listen to this. I'm gonna do this. Remember, I said I'm gonna be doing this for the first time. So if I mess up, we're gonna mess up together. Because we're a team. We're not anything happen is all of us. I'm not going to take the blame. We are a team and we are cooking together. All right. So let's get started. So we're going to see the guy. We're going to share the, the, some of the seasoning. We're going to put some of each season and everything. Because the same seasoning go for everything. Okay. And we save this for the rice. Chili pepper, we're not putting a pepper because we don't want it too spicy. And remember, we have the jerk seasoning and a little bit of everything, okay? Okay. A little bit of everything going on here. Good. A little bit of jerk seasoning. Small amount of salt. Oh my god, you can smell it already. I smell it and it smells good. So we're gonna start rubbing everything, okay? 
And you know, as usual, I'm going to be giving this next one love. do something. I want to go a little bit further. I'm going to add just a small amount of olive, olive oil and my and this meat. So kind of give it a little, help it to take the season a little bit better. And since I'm doing it fast and I'm not going to be keeping it for long, I'm just going to rub, rub the seeds in. And I'm massaging it in holidays, right? So this is the beef. I'm gonna set it aside. It's seasoned. Look at it. It look good. Color is beautiful, and it smell good too. I know it's gonna be good. And this is the shrimp. Get everything together. You know how shrimp work, right? It's easy to cook. You don't need a lot of seasoning. So this is good. Smell good, everything is smelling good in here already. <laughs> I know this this um jollof rice is gonna be good. I know. Open any Africans watching this, any Nigeria, anybody from Ghana, tell me when you tell me, don't just tell me when this video is over that. I did a good job because I know it's gonna be good. I think I want a little bit more thing here. All right, we're gonna set all of these meat aside just for a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take my gloves off. Mm, this is gonna be good, and I'm gonna cover. So guys, okay, so now we season our meat and I'm going to be putting in my ginger, my garlic and um, this tomato and I'm going to puree the tomato for my sauce, my tomato sauce. Mm, I'm excited guys, I'm really excited to make this dish, really very excited. So, guys, remember, um, while you're here, if you didn't hit your notification bell yet, please do so, because Joel is planning to come out with some excited, exciting videos. And uh, guys, I really don't want you to miss any of them. So put your notification on and remember to like, share. Tell it to your friends and family because we're going to be doing some good things over here up in Joe's kitchen. Just give me time, guys. Just give me time. We're going to create some beautiful dishes over here. We're going to make you guys really very happy. So, I'm going to add some of this. Just, just add a little water to this. So I'm going to use a little bit of this to do it. This is the same water we're going to be used to cook this thing. So I'm going to add some, some of this paste to it. We're just making it easier. And we're going to blend it. Good. And I'm going to be adding some more of this to it. So, that's, I'm just doing it like this. this. You could, guys, I want you to try this recipe. You can always put your twist to it. Just the way I'm putting my twist to it, you can put your little twist to it and you go, go follow somebody else's video, watch it, 
and put your own thing to it that's how it is so i'm creating this recipe for all of my gelites guys all of you i'm creating this for so we we can have our own jollof rice recipe garlic and not onion garlic ginger and my tomato this is what we're using it's like you make it to the tomato stew so that's what we're going to use to make the rice i'm really very excited to see what's going to happen over here up in joe kitchen very excited and i know you are too so guys um kind of cleaning up a little bit here we have a little bit of stuff here and i'm doing it putting my twist to it really want you to try guys i really want you to learn to cook some of the dishes that i cook and if you like them just remember to leave me a comment tell me what else you would love julie to cook and share it with your friends and family tell everybody about julie in the kitchen because honestly we're going to do big things over here and we need more people because the more the merrier because i like to cook a lot so i want to cook for all of you because I like to cook big. We're going to be transferring this um, piece of the onion and stuff back into the in this pot where we're going to be cooking the rice in. And then whatever else we have to do, we'll do it from the pot. From this pot that we made with ginger and with the garlic. Add that to it. I'm going to put, incorporate all of this together now. Okay. Oh my God, it smells good. We're gonna add. We're gonna put our bay leaf. Add in everything because we wanna give it this nice flavor, you know. Yeah. So it's like making a. This give me a, like a. Um, tomato sauce that's what it reminds me of when you make meat sauce because i made meat sauce and it kind of reminds me of making the meat sauce if you want to go a little bit creative now you could put some wine in this but tonight we're not going to go too creative right now we want we kind of going to keep it more like you know traditional <laughs> the more traditional with the twist <laughs> i'm my mother's child I'm gonna add coconut milk to it. Ooh, that coconut milk. You know, and you're not gonna need a lot of water for this rice because it has this body already. And it's gonna take a while to simmer down and you don't want anything to go wrong with the rice. So don't put a lot. This this is good enough water. The water in there, I'm gonna show you. The water that's there, you probably just need a small amount. And remember, I use chicken broth because it has some flavor to it. You don't have to use chicken broth. You can just use plain water if you feel like and season to taste. Put as much seasoning you want in it so you get the flavor. I like the color, it's a beautiful color. Color to me is okay. If you want it a little bit darker, just add a little bit more paprika into it. Some people put curry, I see people put curry in it. I'm not gonna put any curry in it because the curry reminds me so much of the Caribbean and I'm not making Caribbean right now. I, I put some jerk seasoning in it already and that's enough. So I don't wanna do too much of our seasoning because I wanna kinda keep it more African. And that's what I'm doing. Near to taste like it's salt, but not salt, but must close. So, because by the time you wash the rice and put it in there, it, the rice, the water starts to taste fresh. So you want to make it taste really salt, not salty, but enough 
enough it tastes like oak it has enough salt because the rice is going to take away some of that salt flavor I think mine need a little bit more salt and I'm going to add it to it we're going to put the rice in right now and the coconut milk everything going to cook down in it and as I was saying, you don't have to put coconut milk in here. So my rice is already washed. I'm going to put that in. You're going to stir everything together now. Mmm. everything together it smells good already and it look you don't gonna cover let this boil and then you cover it so guys the rice is here and it almost finished we're gonna add some add our pepper to it because this is what we're gonna use for the give it that nice color we don't want it cook out so that's why I'm putting in it, it at this time we already meat chicken is already cooked so we didn't want to overcook anything we're gonna add them to it add all our chicken and our shrimp we'll put everything here and we're gonna put everything in here so nice here we're going to cover up this is the end, the end of everything. We're putting in everything in and we're going to cover and let the rice finish steam with the vegetable. We think, one of the thing guys, because this jollof rice with this sauce, this tomato paste and that tomato sauce, you don't need a lot of water. Because just that one coconut with a small amount of, uh, um, small amount of the water to blend that tomato sauce. That's why you want to go. You don't want to go crazy with water. You want to keep it very minimal because the coconut milk, the one thing was good enough with just a small amount. Now we're going to cover our pot. We're going to leave the simmer down. When we come back, what it look like when it come back, we're going to show you our finished product. So All right, guys. We are done with our jollof rice and I'm excited. It look good and it smell good. Can't wait to eat this. Look at it. Beautiful color. All that ripe meat, that chicken, that shrimp and that pork. It looks good. Color is good and it smell good. It's really a nice looking thing. So we go into serve it and then when we come back we're gonna show it to you so guys here is our finished product our fully loaded jollof rice and i'm so excited about it look how beautiful this is it smells good and it tastes good because i actually taste it and it tastes so good i'm so excited to share this with my family and i'm also excited for you to to try the recipe guys it's Oh, I'm excited. It tastes really good. Look how colorful it is. And as I said, fully loaded. So guys, if you try this recipe, please try it. Put your twist to it. Let me hear from you. Tell me what you did. But look how beautiful it is. I'm just garnishing it with some fresh parsley. Just for garnish. But guys, this dish is amazing. It's a fabulous dish. It's so amazing. I am so proud of myself really beautiful dish look beautiful people beautiful so guys this is from jewel kitchen to your house i want to say thank you so much for watching please remember to like share and subscribe and as always remember to cook with love stay healthy and take care of yourself bye until next time See you in my next video.